I'm joined now by Kelly Brown Douglas, who is a professor of religion at Goucher College, a Baltimore resident. You've written a very important book called Stand Your Ground, Black Bodies and the Justice of God. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. You see this as an opportunity uh, to expand the narrative. That's right. Yes, what we see happening to Freddie Gray, as well as to other black male bodies, such as Walter Scott, uh, Trayvon Martin, even we can talk about Emmett Till. It is about a larger narrative, historical narrative in this country concerning the way the black body is viewed. It has always been viewed as a suspicious, threatening, dangerous, criminalized body. And so we have to talk about that if we are ever going to end the kind of fatal assaults upon particularly the black male body. How do we have that conversation take place among the police? How do we have people talk about that who haven't talked about that to date? Well, you know, we have to talk about it in this country. One of the things that we continue to avoid in this country is the discussion of race. And that begins, you know, people apologize, for instance, about slavery, the United States House of Representatives, the Senate, but we've got to talk about the legacy of slavery because the black body was introduced into this country as a chattel body, a body that was not meant to be free, a body that was always considered a dangerous and a suspicious body. And until we as a country have that conversation and feel comfortable about having that conversation about race, well then, of course we're going to see this kind of thing happening with police departments. We can't have that discussion uh, until the nation is more comfortable really coming to grips with the history of this nation as a nation that has always been a divided nation. And we won't discuss that. We're scared to have that uncomfortable conversation. Do you see systemic changes coming from this particular case from the death of Freddie Gray and do you see this as that event that can push that boulder over the hill? Yeah, I think so. I think that unfortunately events such as these of course began to raise these systemic issues. But what we're going to have to come to understand is that we can have body cameras, we can change laws, but until we began to change the perception and the way in which we view certain bodies, then this is just simply going to reinvent itself. And so it's not simply about the laws, it's about the way we think about the non-white body. It, if you had to do one thing to advance that conversation, what would you do? I'd, I'd call from the highest levels in this land for a national conversation on, on race. Kelly Brown Douglas, thank you for joining us. Thank you.